This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Use my promo code PEAK60 to get 60% off your first box and 25% off the following eight boxes. All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, a few weeks ago, one of you suggested that I do a day in the life video. So I thought today might be the perfect day. I've got quite a bit to do today. I've got to go and pick up a Jaguar, which has had an engine rebuild with a massive bill, which I've been dreading it putting off. But today I'm just going to bite the bullet and go and get it. I bought two cars from a local main dealer, one of which is being dropped off so I can film with it on Sunday. But the other one I've got to go and get because it's a nice retail car, I hope. I've also got to finish the ending for an Audi A4 convertible that I bought a few weeks ago. I paid just £1,200 for this car, but it needed quite a bit of work. Anyway, it's now all done, so I need to finish the video. And I also need to do a video at the office for tomorrow night because I currently haven't got anything planned for tomorrow night. So yeah, quite a busy day. So, I need to get cracking. But first, coffee. Need some coffee. Right, first job of the day done. I've just been to the office, found out what's going on there, tried to organise my day a little bit. Now I'm in my Audi A4, which I need to finish a video with. You won't have seen this car yet, and I don't want to ruin the, uh, the surprise, but I have massively <laughs> overspent on it. It's had a cam belt, four tyres, gearbox service, engine service, all sorts of stuff. So it does owe me quite a bit more than the £1,200 it started out at. But I think it's quite a nice car now. So make sure you check out the video when that goes live. And yeah, right. Let me uh, start this video. I'll catch up with you later on. Cheers, guys. Right, well, I've filmed the ending for the Audi A4 video, so I'm on my way back to the office now to go and hand over the footage to the lads in the office and they can chop it into something nice looking, hopefully. Then I need to go to the garage quickly and pick up this car that I bought. So I bought a Jeep Cherokee, which is being delivered, ready for the video on Sunday. But then I've bought a, I think it's a 2016 Vauxhall Astra, done 60,000 miles. So it's great retail stock. So no doubt that will need a service, MOT, valet, usual sorts of stuff. But I'm quite low on stock at the moment, so I do need some more cars. I'll go and do that, and then in the meantime, I need to call my solicitor because I'm trying to ugh, trying to complete on a house, and there's been some issue with the mortgage or something, so I need to speak to them, speak to my broker, and yeah, get them to chase the lender. And It's just a case of trying to juggle everything, so I need to do that. Uh, what else have I got to do? You know, the longer I do this job, the more I realise anyone with their own business, all you do all day is just fight fires. You spend some time putting one fire out and then another one pops up somewhere else. Sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I detest it. Right, I've just gone to the body shop to pick up this XE that I bought a couple of days ago. It's a really nice car, this actually. It's a petrol... 2015 petrol Jaguar XE done 18,000 miles. Let me give you a quick little tour of it. So yeah, 18,000 miles, two litre turbo petrol, automatic. It's white with this nice two-tone interior with a sunroof. It should sell quite quickly. So I'm gonna take it to the Valeters, get it all cleaned up, ready for the weekend. And then hopefully later on today or first thing tomorrow, I can photograph it and write the advert for it. Oh, look at the fuel. Got a full tank of fuel here. That never happens. I should, what I should do now really is use this for the next week or two, but I haven't got time. Right, I'm going to take this to the Valters then, and uh, what next? Then I've got to go and get this Astra. See you in a bit. Right, I'm now in this 2011 104,000 mile Skoda Yeti that I sold about three or four weeks ago. Anyway, a couple of days ago, the customer got back in touch to say that there was a, an oil pressure light on. Um, so I ran it back to my garage. It's quite a nice car, to be fair. But I ran it back to my garage and they fitted a new oil pressure switch, oil pressure sensor. The old one was broken. And what else did it have? They've replaced one of the injectors because that was coming up with a fault. It's a 1.6 TDI, I think. So now I'm going to do a road test. I'm going to use this as a runaround vehicle today to do a road test and make sure it doesn't fault before I hand it back to the customer. Before I give it back, I just want to make sure that it's all right. So, uh, so that's the plan. So I'll go and do maybe 20, 30 miles in it and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's fixed. 
and I can give it back with some confidence. Next time you see me then, I should be in this Astra that I bought. So I just hope it's nice. Right, I'll see you there. Right, well I've just picked up the Astra and I've driven it back for maybe 10 miles and I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping this was gonna be a car which I could just give a clean and service an MOT and put it straight on the forecourt, hopefully to sell this weekend, but it needs a bit more work than that. It's got quite a few things going for it. It's quite a nice spec. It drives really well. It's a 1.6 diesel, so it's free road tax. It'll do 60 or 70 miles per gallon. It's only done 62,000 miles. It's only had two owners and look at the presets on the radio. Radio 4, classic, radio 3, 5 live. So this has been owned by somebody slightly up in age. The service history is very good. We've got uh, full Vauxhall for the first four or five years and then three independent. And it was done about two weeks ago. So there's nothing to do mechanically or, uh, or MOT wise. But the reason I'm a bit disappointed is the condition of it. The inside's very grubby, it will clean up, but they've had a dog, quite a big dog. <laughs> a molting dog. There's dog hairs everywhere and it stinks. So it needs a very good clean, new set of mats, an odor bomb. Try and turn it into a car, really. My guess is also they've had quite a tight, narrow driveway because the bodywork is below average. Let me show you. Turn it off for a second. We've got both sets of keys, so that's good. scuff on the wing there and on the bumper. The wheels could do with a refurb. The sill's slightly damaged. Not a bad looking car actually, is it? More damage down here. So it's gonna need probably four or 500 pounds of paint. Some damage there. damage there on the back bumper. So you can see now why I was slightly disappointed, can't you? I think what I'm gonna do next is take it for a clean, see if there's any more damage under the, uh, under the dirt. And at the car wash is my white Jaguar XC, which I need to go and collect. So I shall do that next, and then that needs photographing, and then I can start my advert. So I'll see you there. Slight change of plan. The Jaguar wasn't ready at the car wash, so I've had to get a lift down to my mechanics and pick up this Mitsubishi Colt. I've got a test drive on it at the weekend, and I got it off the forecourt this morning and noticed a little bit of a rattle coming from the rear, which turned out to be a loose heat shield. So I ran it down to the mechanics, got that sorted, and we need to take it for a quick wash, ready for the weekend. Fingers crossed it'll sell. Then hopefully by the time I get this to the car wash, the Jaguar will be ready and I can continue as I, uh, as I intended. It's always like this. Right, I shall see you there. In fact, I'm going to stop saying this because I've said, right, I shall see you there about 27 times now and it's getting a bit boring. Adios, how about that? Well, I finally got back to work and photographed the Jaguar and also a five series estate, which has just landed. Uh, now I'm on my way back to the office to film a desk video. And I definitely wore the wrong thing today. It's, well, it's showing 24 degrees. I thought it was jumper weather. So I wore my uh, little vineyards, vineyard, or whatever it's called. Jumper that I bought in Bermuda. Right, I'm going then, because I can't be on my phone while I'm driving. I'll stop saying that. I think before I do my desk video, I need to get something to eat because I'm starving. Do you want a quick tour of the office? There we go. Say hello, Jamie Lee. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen this all before, to be fair. Right then, let me get this out. Something I made earlier. I suppose that brings me neatly onto today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Now I've mentioned HelloFresh on previous videos before, but since I've been using them, it's just been a game changer for me. Most of my day, as you've seen today, is just spent like this, running here, there and everywhere. So I don't have time to go and prepare food or go out and buy food and all that sort of stuff. But with HelloFresh, you just pick meals that you never think of making and it gets delivered to your door. And it's all interesting, tasty food as well. Now, I'm not a natural cook. I can't be bothered cooking most of the time, to be honest. But with HelloFresh, they give you simple step-by-step -step recipes. Even a chimpanzee could do it. Now, tonight, I'm going out for food with some friends, so I didn't want to waste tonight's meal from HelloFresh. So last night, I decided to cook it and bring it for lunch instead. So all I've got to do today is ping it. 
There we go. And I'll have a tasty, nutritious meal. So today we are on red pepper glazed chimula chicken. I'd have never dreamt of making that before, but I'm quite looking forward to it. The good thing with HelloFresh is it provides just enough ingredients, so there's no waste. I hate throwing good food away. It's all just really easy. You subscribe, choose the meals you want to eat, and then a box gets delivered to your door as if by magic. All full of fresh ingredients. On top of that, it's really good value for money. The meals work out on average about £3.15 each. So it saves me time, money, and food waste. It's a no-brainer. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, and I would highly recommend it, you can save yourself 60% off your first box, and then 25% off the following eight boxes. All you need to do is use my promo code, PEAK60. Or alternatively, click the link below in the video description. So thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Right, I'm gonna film this desk video, and I'll catch up with you shortly. Right, well, I'm currently in a Ford Focus ST, a really nice one actually, done 32,000 miles. I've got an appointment on it tomorrow, so I got it off the forecourt, I'm just gonna take it for a quick wash, and I realized it was running on fumes, so I just stopped and put 20 pounds of V-Power in it. Uh, what else has just happened? I've just had a call from a garage down south to pay a bill on an Audi A6 that I sold. Quite a nice 2016 Audi A6, done 40,000 miles. That I sold to a guy who was moving back to the UK and he lived can't remember. China or Hong Kong, somewhere somewhere far afield anyway. So he bought it blind. I got it delivered down to him about three weeks ago. And within about 50 miles of him having it, a DPF light came on and something else came on. So I took it into his, or he took it into his local garage. I authorised the work, not expecting it to be quite so expensive. And my bill on that one was £2,956. The girl called the garage this morning, the girl from the garage called my garage this morning to get payment. And I thought she said 295, so I thought, oh, that sounds quite reasonable. So I gave my long card number and paid it. Then when the invoice came through, I realized it was an additional digit. So now I feel a bit sick. Sold one car all week, a box of the Gila, done 102 with about 700 pounds profit in it. I just hope things improve this weekend. So, Anyway, got to keep trying, haven't you? Right, see you later on. Right, and we're back in the Skoda Yeti. So I use the Skoda Yeti to do my running around in. I've just dropped it off for a wash, so it's all nice and clean for the customer. And it hasn't faulted. In fact, it's been really good to use. I quite like the Yeti, as I've mentioned many times before. This, and I know I always moan about this, but this was another example where I sold a car, 12 year old car done 104, customer had it three weeks, then it broke, then all of a sudden he gets on the phone or turns up at the garage even, twice, ranting and raving about I'm the biggest crook and all that sort of stuff. And it isn't fair. Yes, I sold, it's my responsibility, I'm gonna pay the bill, but cut me some slack, do you know what I mean? You bought an old high mileage car, I'm going to fix it. Yes, nobody likes the car to break, it's a slight inconvenience, but I'm picking up the bill, and I'm gonna lend you a courtesy car if you need one. <sighs> Get some patience, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna take this back to work now and copy my bills for him so he can see I've had the work done and see what else needs doing. I need to photograph a Skoda Fabia that I've had for about a month and had no interest in at all. It's quite a nice car. So I'm thinking, I've just had it washed. I'll re-photograph it and tweak the advert slightly, maybe reduce the price a little bit and see if I can move it on. So oh, I'm just praying for a busy weekend. See you there. I've just photographed this Skoda, which I've had for about a month now, and I don't understand why it hasn't sold, because it's a really nice car. This is the frustrating, or well, one of the many frustrating things about this job. You've got something here that's like perfect stock, and I've had no interest in it whatsoever. And yet I sell a Vauxhall Aguila at 1995 around it. Doesn't make any sense at all. In between all that, I've just had an email from somebody, a viewer of the channel, wanting my advice on what car to buy. And it's, I get these all the time, and I do try my best to reply to comments on Instagram emails, all that sort of stuff, but I fly around 100 miles an hour all day long. I haven't got time for that, I'm afraid. So, although I do try my best. Today isn't a great day, to be fair. <clears throat> I can feel my eyelid flickering, which I think only happens when I'm stressed. Right, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Lost track of it. See you in a bit. 
I've just bought another R129SL. This one's a five litre though, this is the SL500. Or according to the tailgate now, it's an L500 because my, uh, my S has fallen off. I've just bought it from the guys down at SPR who have been looking after it for about eight years. And the customer wanted to sell. So uh, they bought it and I bought it from them. And I think I might keep this one and sell my 320 because this is a five litre. So you've got things like heated seats. You've got an adjustable, look at this. Never seen that before in my life. And of course it's a five litre V8, which is a bit more me. That's my plan anyway. Uh, what next? Oh, in other news, I've just had a letter, a recorded letter from the guy that bought the Yeti wanted to reject it. I'm taking on quite a bit of water today, folks. Well, that was a horrible testing day. It's not always like this. Perhaps I picked, picked the wrong day to film one of these videos, but it can be quite challenging, quite a, quite a tough testing job at times. When it's good, when it's going well, it's, it's quite a pleasant job. And when it's going badly, it's atrocious. Sometimes when I get fed up with this job, I've got to remember that all jobs have their ups and downs. It's always a bit of a roller coaster. I, I don't think there's a single job in the world where you're up on a high always. So you've got to take the rough with the smooth, haven't you? But today there's been quite a lot of rough. So I think that's about it. My last job then really, after I've uh, driven home, is going to take my little dog for a walk. It's quite a nice night, isn't it? Or day, evening. So yeah, thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Make sure you check out TikTok. Uh, and yeah, check out HelloFresh, peak 60 for your discount. Cheers guys, see you next time. <laughs>